The Transportation Security Administration says it is seeing more guns pass through security checkpoints. In fact, in only the 10th month of this year, America has set a new record. TSA says a majority of these guns are loaded. Let's take a look at the numbers. TSA tells us that as of last week, 4,495 people have been caught at security checkpoint points with guns. That's 63 more people than in 2019, which stood at 4,432. In 2020, when fewer people were traveling, that number was 3,200. And tonight we are looking at what Rochester travelers think of this issue and what are the laws. Well, Fox 47's Comaria Bray joins us from the Rochester airport. Comaria, how are people feeling? Yeah, Zach, well, it's a concern for some and not so much for others. But before we get into that, I spoke with the Minnesota Gun Owners Caucus who said that you can bring a firearm into airports. But once you get past this TSA security checkpoint, it's not allowed. Hundreds of people fly through RST each day. On a national level, people stopped with firearms so far this year is higher than it's ever been. And the thought of some possibly bringing a firearm through security makes some RST travelers uneasy. It is worrisome that more and more people seem to be thinking that it's okay to bring firearms. And I'm very concerned that there are more and more firearms in our country. It's concerning. Um, I don't know if it's a question of education that people don't understand they can't bring them or if it's just a move towards a more violent society. While others aren't too worried. You know, the rules are you can't fly with firearms, so you, it doesn't seem like a big deal to me. I guess I'm not really concerned. A spokesperson for the Minnesota Gun Owners Caucus says travelers shouldn't be concerned. Yeah, I think when you look at the individual instances of this happening, uh, it's, it's almost always an oversight. You know, somebody, uh, somebody maybe didn't realize that they couldn't carry into uh, that part of the building that, you know, they have a they have a valid permit to carry or a concealed carry license and they just over oh, they, they made a mistake believing that they were able to carry in there. Uh, so, you know, it's an oversight that way or sometimes, you know, somebody you know, has th th thought thought that they put it in their glove box or they locked it in their safe. I, I, I'm not a gun owner, but I can't imagine not knowing that you have a gun on you. That doesn't seem possible. Now, TSA tells me that here at the Rochester International Airport so far in 2021, there have been zero guns confiscated by TSA here. And if you must travel with your firearm, here are some things that you should know. Generally, what you do is when you check in, you inform the gate agent that you have a firearm. They bring you into a separate area where TSA will uh, check your firearm to make sure that it's unloaded uh, it's and that it's locked in the case. You're allowed to bring two boxes of ammunition in their original packaging uh, and it's a relatively pain, painless process. Now when you are in when you enter an airport or you're in one of these security lines like the one that I'm in you may notice certain um, advisory signs or security signs like the one right here. This one clearly says do not bring your firearm through the checkpoint. Potential fines could be nearly 14 thousand dollars. Now that's a lot of money to pay. Live at RST, Kamaria Bray, Fox 47 News.